Wednesday. I'm at uh, Sunny Isles Beach. Time is, uh, it's like almost 1.45. So pretty close to low tide. Uh, first target today. Nice old green water. That's what I'd like to see. That means this, there's some old stuff here. Oh, I see it. I thought that was a raw. It's just a lead sinker. Oh yeah, everything's screaming now with this club. Some uh, coin. Just having a problem, but the coins are flipping up. There we go. Got a ring. Old one, too. Looks like it's iron though. I don't know what it is. It's not sticking to the thing. It's showing some gold underneath it. Then I get a rust spot up here, so I don't understand that. Cartier ring, but that's going to be stainless steel. It's going to be one of those fake ones. Here's this. Uh, that's the. Um, uh, I forget what it is now, um, but that's the uh, the fake ones. I find a lot of these. Um, I think it's the Cartier love ring. It's supposed to have like the little screws in there, but this is obviously a stainless steel gold plate one. You can see the little rust marks coming through it. But in Miami Beach, I find a ton of these. They're everywhere. Fake Cartier. Oh, put that on the thing. Play back to how it used to be. I'm so happy. It was before it was just not making like a huge tone for stuff. On a ball. Oh. Back at it again, so you know, let other people find some gold. Uh, washer. Wow, this one's really deep. There we go. This, yeah, this coil's definitely back. Going deep again. <laughs> Yep, I'm not scaring it all the way down. I'm gonna be digging, digging to Middle Earth again with this coil. That's why I didn't take out the 12-inch one today. I haven't repaired it yet, but I got it. I got the second 12-inch coil working. So I replaced the coil, but now I want to go back and I want to fix the old one. So, let's see what this is. Ah, oh, deep, deep quarter. See, that's why I, I like the PIs. This is what I'm finding. I don't find this with the mana core too often, but I find it constantly with the PIs. It just means that this is like territory nobody's found in a while. Yep, and here's another one. This is like a nickel. Yeah, it's an old green nickel. Oh. 
think I got it. Well, I got a couple of... I don't keep hearing it down here. Maybe a small piece of metal. It's probably just going through the holes. I keep digging. That's what I'm guessing. It's probably like a tiny piece of metal. Or something super light. I don't know. I'm gonna keep going. I'll just keep scooping until I get it. You never know. Alright, I think I got it this time. I do have a jewelry to catch on this thing, so... Oh, this is actually water. Hmm, that was deep. Maybe that's just what it was. So... Today, I don't know if you noticed, but I'm using my extreme titanium scoop again. That little white blob is a magnet that I glued in down there. You can see like metal fragments or iron fragments sticking to it. So I use that especially when I'm out with a PI because the PI detector does pull up a lot of iron stuff and it helps keep it into the scoop. Uh, sometimes I grab it on the outside. You can see a little black right there. These, this is all like magnetic stuff. You can see I wipe it away. Much deeper than it was before and I don't even have it at full power. I have it at about half right now. So if I went full power, this thing's going to hear everything. I don't know if I got it or not. Whatever it was, it fell out of the scoop. And I, I took too big of a scoop. I think I got it now. That's another quarter. Another quarter. Get yeah, weird. Quick. Clint tab or something. Maybe not, but probably the size of it. I'm seeing some gray sand, that's a good sign. And it is something. Okay, what it is, I don't know yet. There's a ring. There's something that goes around something. Well, I don't think it's anything valuable, so I'll look at Hopefully it's not tungsten, but... Oh, please don't be tungsten. I can see it. I see a number. Oh, yes. Seven... Seven fifty. Some nice gold ring right there. Look at that, baby. Yes. Oh, yes. Nice. Oh, there's a penny. So good. Rash. Oh, another penny. Oh, I dig it though. Oh, 
time. I'm guessing this is either an earring or a pendant. I can't tell because the top part is gone. But it looks to be copper, base metal. sunny out when it first started. It started to come out and then disappeared. Sunlight disappeared. I don't know if that's it or not. That might be it. But the time is one o'clock. I'm here three hours before low tide so I kind of want to get to this area again to search again. So I know that there's been some gold lost up here. Can't seem to find it. So today I have the Surf Master and I got the Extreme Scoop. Dug up. Oh my god. It's rusted to hell. No way this can be real. That is. There's no way. Yeah, this is gonna be another fake. There's no water inside. The case just looks like it's corroded away. Plated. There's no way this is going Wow. And, uh, it's the other part of the thing right there. Another part. Well, keep it now. Let's see what happens. I don't think that's real though. The case is completely demolished. This is that pocket knife, I think, or a handle off of a knife, I don't know. Actually, I think that's probably what it is. Um, it's, yeah, it's probably a, a knife handle. Out there for sure. Okay. I don't know, it's filled with something. I think it's cold out there. Whatever it was, it's making a beep, so. This is that red bag. Um, I actually opened it before the camera 
and it turned out to be this coin right here. Um, I couldn't wait to open it, sorry, but this is a uh, coin from 1955 and it's from the CCCP. It's a really old coin. I don't know why it was in that red case, but that is weird. So, if anybody knows why that would be in a red case and thrown in the ocean, let me know. This would have been nice. Mm. Stick it to the magnets. Big chain. Got a ring. Oh, we can move it some other ring. Silver. Here's that ring. It's got like a little fake diamond. I'm not sure what the, the metal is. I don't think it's anything good. It could possibly be silver. But that's that ring. Getting some good targets here. Just put them nice little red secret. Oh, that's gonna pass. Mm, that is a quarter. This old one, I think. It's clad. another real stainless steel. Ah, what's up with these stainless steel rings? Oh, look at that. Ah, put that sauce on the house. Yeah, it's gonna be another jump ring. This is that uh, stainless steel gold plate ring. Nothing of value.
Get a fish friend now. He's following me. The home fish you lost. that thing hanging around me. Somebody comes eat, eat that thing and they hit me too. I didn't have a lot of good targets here. Nothing great. Cold points. Uh, just got another sinker that was practically white. Uh, depending on this one. I'm going to leave the camera running because you can see the thunderstorms rolling in down there. Uh, the sirens went off. And I can see the lightning off in the distance, so that cloud is definitely headed this way. Oh, it's everywhere right here. It's a ring. Crap ring, right though. Trump ring. I'm not even going to put that on the carabiner. There's a target right here. Up that this balls are getting closer. Oh, I got some jewelry. I got something. Uh, is that a nose ring or something? Nose ring, I think. I don't know what else it could be, but it's plated. Something. One's picking up, I'm gonna call it because that means it's rolling in. Well, here at Miami Beach, and it's a lot more waves than I thought it was gonna be. So, I think I made a pretty bad choice coming today. There's also a lot of pelicans out here fish everywhere and I've already not even in the water just got completely soaked. Let's see. Let's see how bad it is. Low tides in about a couple hours so I'll show you what I got today. Oh, stream scoop. That's awesome. That ones look nice too. I always take bottle caps, but. <laughs> These big earrings, they come off really easy too. I don't know if that's jumping right now. Gonna be another plated ring. Nothing of value. Feel the weight. Come on. 
Nothing stainless. Here's that ring. Um, this is going to be stainless steel and plated. It looked good coming up, but yeah, it's it's just a cheap ring. High tide, low tide, three twenty-three. Uh, I don't believe that, but uh, I got twelve thirty. Waves aren't too bad today. The water a little bit better, so I'm taking this coil out instead of the uh, the uh, nine and a half inch one. It's a little flatter and catches the waves more. This thing's a monster. I'll just dump this in. Nickel. I think it's a nickel. Something. Let's take a look at it later. Oh, something I never had no problem with this. But it's like a little, it's like a little baggy. Look like, I don't know. I don't know if it's like a chain or something, but. Okay, here's this bag. Um, I'm gonna open it. I don't know what's in it. But it definitely beeps. It looks like a bunch of rice or something. I don't know. But I'm gonna open up this. And we'll see what's inside of it. So, if I can get bag open, I don't know. Oh, I see a coin inside. Yeah, I gotta dump this out onto a paper towel. Because I don't know what grossness is in there and why. Oh, it's still wet. Ugh. Why is there a quarter in there? It makes no sense what that stuff is. That is a regular quarter. I have no clue why somebody would put whatever that is in with that. I don't know if that's like stones or something. 2024 quarter. But yeah, that's that's all that's in there. I don't know. I don't feel anything else. So that was just a quarter. That makes no sense to me. But I'll put it in the bag and I'll bring it up. I'll open it up when I get back home. I'm gonna bring it out now, show you. But here, iPhone. Oh, shells and corroded. That thing's definitely dead. Here, a lot of old things come up. I'm seeing the gray sand come up from underneath, so. It's got some like old part of a nozzle. Here's the uh, quarter. Steak quarter, it's not too old. Something. It's a jewelry. It's a little, uh, it looks like it's silver. Oh, cool. little tree. This is the pendant. Um, you can see all the various markings on it. Uh, I didn't test it. I'm assuming it's silver. It's not marked anywhere, it's silver. Um, so I'm not a hundred percent sure if that's silver or not. It's a good sign. This is right where I found that uh, that other David Yearman pendant, like right around here. Yep. Second pole today.
first target. Kind of first target right here. It's very, very faint. So I haven't dug anything in this And the sand is solid. Well, this is super deep, so I'll see what it is. That other guy went the other way. I see the. Oh, that's another shell. Yeah, the shells here are shiny. Oh, that's a little coin. Copper penny. Definitely deep. 19. I can't see. Yeah, I can't see the date. Three, nineteen something three. Oh, I got something else here. So I got a good spot right here. This target's good. And they're all faint whiskers. What I want here. How many else misses? I got my machine cranked up, so I don't have anything. This is cranked all the way up, so this is kind of creepy. I might have it out, I don't know. Yep, it's out, whatever it is. Another old penny, pop a penny, 1968. Well, two old pennies, that tells me that this is a good area. But they're kind of deep, so. This ring, uh, it's kind of weird. It's got, it's really dark right there. Uh, and then where the band is, it's uh, gold. So I scratch tested this with acid and you can see the little little mark where I scratch tested it. Um, this is gonna be 10 carat. It's possibly like maybe a little bit less than 10 carat for it to turn dark like that. So it's been turning darker out of the water. Uh, when I first saw it, it was uh, not as dark, but it's been just like absolutely blackening up. Um, but I can test this further on to see. I'm pretty sure it has some gold in it. Um, I also tested the band part and they both tested pretty much the same. So that's that ring. Uh, there's, there's no markings inside of it or anything. Um, no stamps. <laughs> Another ring. 
So this ring just turned out to be stainless steel. Nothing special. No markings inside of it. Stainless. No water out of here. Looks like a copper penny. 19. I can't see it. 1959. That's old. 